What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I am doing some general reading for all the signs that are on the sign of Sagittarius. They had the six most viewed of my videos from the last time. So I'm going in order. Hope everyone is doing well. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, check out the about section of the channel as well as the description box. And I'm going to try to list it in the comments as well. Let's see what the messages are for the sign of Sagittarius from now until the end of February 2020. Messages for the sign of Sagittarius. Some of you guys have been thinking a lot about um, your mother. I see maybe sometimes as a child with you and your siblings talking to your mother and laughing about things. Some type of something when you were around 10 years old. And you want to find yourself at this place in your life where you're financially stable. Be quiet, please, and doing things on your own. But there's something about the reflection that you're going through right now or just like overall not really knowing how to feel about a certain situation because some of you guys feel like when it comes to love, it doesn't always go as planned. Um, some of you guys are very um, confident, successful people, but you might be going through some type of um, troubles at the moment, hearing legal troubles. But I feel like in an instant where you may have lost money or something happened, it's important for you to stand up for yourself, stand your ground. Um, because I do feel like there's some new things coming in for you, but you're just not really un aware of them. You know, wanting to be this independent person, but the only thing you're lacking is your confidence. You know, there's a way to be humble and um, confident at the same time, you know. Some of you guys just want to be happy. You want to have this family life. You want to be around, you know, some of you guys just want to have kids. Some of you guys will have kids. If that's what you're worried about, I see a boy and a girl, you know. Um, and even if it's a one-parent household, I still, seeing it, I still see it being successful. Some of you guys are thinking a lot about this, if it'll ever happen for you. And it's almost just like there's some dark parts of your personality that maybe need to be healed or maybe another person you're dealing with. I do see communication, shh, some communication coming in um, toward the end of the month. And it's something that you've been waiting for, something that you wish for. It could be a partnership. It could be um, a collaboration. It could be um, some type of affiliation. But I also feel like for some of you guys, this is um, the soulmate relationship that you've been waiting for. You know, something that's divinely guided, something where you know that this person is the one that's meant for you, you know, and you've been waiting for this. Even though there's some illusions around how this person really feels, it's like this is what you know that you want, and you're just kind of waiting for this energy to come in. I also feel like some of you guys have a message from the other side, from whether it's a mother or a father, shh, to take this leap of faith, to step out and do what it is that makes you happy, you know, go for your dreams, go for your goals. For some of you guys, it's going and offering love to this person from your past, um, or this is going to be coming in for you, that this person is going to come back in and, and offer this love to you. Some of you guys are going to be finding love in helping other people. Um, some of you guys are showing the world the love that you wanted yourself, and I feel like it's important for you to work on your emotions. It's important for you to take some time out to do something that you like doing. You know, I feel like when in this in this period of waiting that you're still kind of working on something or keeping yourself busy so that you're not um, staying in a depressed state, for, for lack of better words. But I do feel like, um, you know, I don't feel like your dreams are that far off. I feel like you're in this energy of... You know, finding a balance between your emotions and your thoughts, but at the same time, rising above a lot of the things that you've been through and finding these partnerships and relationships that you've always wanted in your life. Um, even if right now you're a little bit stressed out, um, I do feel like there is some type of offer being offered to you towards the end of the month, and it's going to be something 
that you guys are going to work on. Some of you guys are really psychic. You have the octopus here. But you're also kind of afraid to express your emotions to certain people or things. Maybe you just feel like it would be taken the wrong way. I do see some type of financial change. New job here at the t towards the end of the month. It's definitely incoming change to a sense of not having enough or you know, just paying the bills or maybe feeling like you didn't have enough for certain things. It has a lot to do with the expression. Um, change in home, a family, um, moving away, a new home. Some of you guys are going to be getting a letter about, you know, from this person that you've been waiting to talk to. Um, there is some type of new direction here when it comes to kind of going out on your own and doing your own thing. There's also going to be some type of an event at towards the end of the month. Maybe um, someone's going to be inviting you to a wedding, but it's going to be really fun for you to go. I do feel like there's going to be like, there's a lot of energy of um, stability and, you know, end of hard times. And I do feel like there's also going to be some sense, there's going to be some travel for some of you guys in the near future as well. Um, definitely financial um, changes, definitely a need to spend your money wisely, but it's also like kind of at this crossroads in your life where instead of keeping yourself confined to a relationship, maybe for some of you guys that isn't the healthiest, um, this is about cooperating with outside people. And for some of you guys, you know, taking that date that someone is asking you on and going out and, and doing some, trying something new. Um, I do feel like there is some manipulative um, energy around either a teacher or um, someone who doesn't have very good intentions. So there might have been a disagreement or some type of money issues with this person, but I feel like this could be the same energy coming back in. So now you're kind of like weary about it because this person might have a reputation of kind of being with a lot of different people. But I do feel like, you know, whatever type of um, disagreement or whatever type of loss there was, it's going to be recovered. I feel like this person maybe got a divorce or they moved out of a situation where they were living with someone. I do feel like um, there's just a prosperous time coming in for you guys. And I feel like um, you're leveling up and you're very, you're very powerful at this time. And it's time to kind of make some difficult decisions, but at the same time, you know, um, not really, I wouldn't really believe, you know, some, some person could try to, um, make you feel some type of way about whatever type of issue this is, or there could be like false information or falsified documents or something like that. And I feel like um, there will be success for you no matter what kind of news this is, but it might need you, might require you moving or it might require you to, um, you know, there might be a period of being really stressed out, but at the same time, I do feel like it's all in letting old things go so that new things can come in because some of you guys just want the stability, you know, um, you want things to be more smooth when it comes to a home situation. And I feel like that's coming in, but it's also a need to make a decision maybe between a past person and a current person. Um, I do feel like some of you guys are really thinking a lot lately about someone who passed away and, um, they want you to trust your intuition, you know, that maybe this person wasn't the greatest person for you, you know, and that there's new opportunities coming in for you to have the relationship that you desire, even though it might be a difficult decision to, you know, it might require some type of change that you don't really feel like you're ready for. And you've had a lot of anxiety about it. I do feel like whatever you've lost will be returned to you and just your overall confidence and your overall having a control over your emotions is going to help you make better decisions when it comes to your finances as well. I do feel like there's some unexpected um, situation in your life where maybe you, you're going to end up losing something, but at the same time, what you're going to be gaining is going to be much greater than that. So just keep that in mind. Um, thinking only, only of your desires and never your fears that you are, when it comes to creativity, it's really limitless, you know, I do feel like there's going to be a letter about something where there's going to be some type of mistake that's corrected. 
and this person's going to admit where they kind of messed up. It says, go for your dreams, tune out distractions, live your soul, not a role. And then it says, change tracks and move forward. So I feel like becoming a clear channel, reevaluate your priorities, Face your adversity and choose your friends wisely because, like I said, I feel like there's some energy of someone not giving you the greatest advice. You know, this is about you embracing your power, having more faith in yourself and, um, you know, making better, clearer decisions for your future because you've gained a lot of wisdom through your experiences in, in life. And I feel like it's something to do with, like, your community, maybe um, something to do with education or learning a lot from your circumstances where it's going to help you gain a better sense of um, independence. I do feel like there's, you guys are going to be invited out to do things and I recommend that you go out and do them because I feel like there's a lot of, there's like good luck energy around you and I feel like um, you're also being urged to go like by the people that are no longer here. They don't want you to, to be sad. They want you to be happy, you know. Um, I do feel like there's a, some triggers here, and that's kind of what with this mental um, repetition, something that you go over and over in your head about, and it's a need for you, some of you guys, to meditate on this energy and become more aware of, you know, maybe what you can do when you're sleeping as far as like reprogramming your subconscious. Because I do feel like when it comes to your well-being, you're going through a transformation where your whole body could be changing as well as your thoughts. So that's going to bring in more sincere relationships. It's important to stay around positive-minded people and to not um, believe the barriers that other people have like set for you because things are going to go as they're meant to go. And you guys are making progress, but those triggers along the way, especially when it has to do with emotions, are there to show you maybe parts of yourself that you haven't really healed so that you can heal them and bring more blessings into your life. Some of you guys have a lot of um, teaching energy around you, and um, some of you guys are going to be recognized for some of your achievements, but it's also... Um, finding peace and harmony through the conflict in, in your life as well as um, listening to your intuition when it comes to this job situation about, you know, will it be fulfilling? Maybe not being so open and honest or telling a whole lot of people, you know, maybe changing how much you give to other people or changing, you know, the reciprocity aspect of it where you're you're giving and receiving in the same aspect and not waiting so much for someone to, to give to you the same way, but, you know, making those expectations clear from the jump that, you know, you expect just as much as you give out, you know, and that will in turn bring more energy into your life. Um, some of you guys, this is about self-love. This is about going out and enjoying yourself with friends. This is about making a plan and, and moving forward in that energy, even if it means leaving something behind, you know, spending more time meditating, Spending more time um, being patient and knowing that you're you're going to be able to discern and act at the right time, but it just might require you to kind of keep quiet about some things or to not act at this moment, even though some of you guys I think would like to or someone that you're dealing with. So anyways, um, I hope this helps you out. Have a good night.